Hello and welcome to Fable Anniversary. Believe it or not, this is my favourite game ever. Like, ever. This, in my opinion, is the best game that has ever been made. And this is the remastered version, which has actually improved the game. So, Fable, this was Fable Lost Chapters, um, but it's recently been remastered, I think last year, and uh, all the graphics and everything have improved, the lighting, and they've changed the menu, but that's pretty much all they've changed, but it's the best game I have ever played in my life. And today is the start of a full playthrough of Fable. It's... I'm so excited for this. It's unbelievable. It's a fairly short game, but it's so worth it. It's, it's a short game which probably about, I don't know, 20, 30 episodes. But it's... <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, this is new. It's the first time I played it on the PC, though. I usually play on Xbox. A hero in training play, Fable Anniversary, how it was originally. The, uh, heroic, this is the true test for real heroes. Not only are resurrection files no longer in the game, but the enemies are far tougher, tougher and health potions will be more scarce. Your hero, your her, hero, your health will be low. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go for heroic. I never use health files. And I usually just use food to heal up. I can do this, and enemies are always piss easy to beat. Just saying. So I think with this game, I'm gonna go for evil fat guy, basically. Just pure evil, morbidly obese fat guy. And he's gonna be called Arseface. Because why the hell not? This guy's gonna be amazing. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. He's also gonna be a pimp. Just saying. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up! Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Oh my god, I am so excited. Talk to people marked on your map with green dots if they have something interesting to say and will highlight green when you approach them and press A to talk to a highlighted person. I literally know every single nook and cranny, every secret, everything. Let's turn the audio volume down a little bit. I know everything about this game. Just making sure, oh no, I don't want the Fable 2 or 3 controls, I want the traditional good old Fable 1 controls. Just gonna make sure all the settings are correct. Oh, requires a game restart. God damn it. Okay. I'm sure I'll live with the shadow distance. <gasps> I've lost Rosie! Oh, that's new. I've got a mini ponytail. I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help. 
She's a lovely little furry bear mm. with a blue patch on her back. So, yeah, if you haven't played Fable 1 or you don't really know much about the Fable series, this game shits all of Fable 2 and 3. And it's so good. So naughty. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? To be honest, my, my hero doesn't talk. He's got, like, four words he ever says. So, talking's not really going to be an issue. My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? I tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. All right. Good lad. Here, have this got my advice to you. Don't get tied down to one woman. I won't. I'll keep that advice. I will be the best pimp. Look after yourself. Forget everyone else. Oh, naughty. But yeah, it's... Oh, where to start with explaining how good this game is? It's just... Oh, I love this game. Rarely have... This literally... I can't think of another single game which I enjoy more than this game. Stock available! I mean... You better move this way! You can kick chickens. <laughs> Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. So I need two more gold pieces. Maybe later. Remember, free gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, literally nothing in this game which I don't know about. Uh, Honestly, where's that, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? I think this is a good deed, <laughs> but... With some woman I don't doubt. Oh, well. I want all the gold. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Sure. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Okay. Gonna Wait. head up here. And this is the fight bit. Stupid little idiot. What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. No, he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him, if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Haha, <laughs> take that, kid. Oh, no. First this boy was being nasty to me, and now you're hitting me too. Me and Emily just wanted to play with Rosie. I don't Tough. know what I've done. Someone tell me what I've done. Just take Rosie if it means you'll leave me alone. I have a teddy bear. A child's toy. Almost disgustingly cute. Wait. That was good? Wow. I wonder if it's possible to get horns. I don't think it's possible to get horns at this level. Like, hang on. Can I? Nah, can't see any stats or anything like that at the moment. Why are you playing with baby toys? I don't get another good point. Stay away from the guards. No, 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 no. Stab me. Hello? Oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. 
So, what's he done for a shit? I'm gonna smash up all your boxes. My cousin says that the queen. Shut up. While he's away, unless you're too scared. Go away. I am evil. Walk on my heart. So mean. It's a yeah, heart. Smash him up. And he won't even realize I'm gone. Oh, right. hello. I've heard these fight act. That's if yep, you yep, are. Yep. I'll just. Isn't this more fun? Quickly get these ones. What's the guy's not looking? Shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, I haven't got. I haven't gone. I'm still here. That's more like it. Shh, nothing happened. I sort of noticed this random, random bit of hair, which is in a ponytail-ish thing. But yeah, I will be so evil. Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Yep, definitely performed a good deed. Totally didn't smash up all this stuff. Now return the teddy bear. Your stuffing. He does eventually grow into his hands and feet. As you can see, they're absolutely huge. Okay, let's get this chocolate. No, wait, I need to get the money from Dad. And he should be up here. I think it's called Brom. Oh, I think it. Yeah, Brom, not Bron. Okay. Mm, I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. Well, I Maybe. think you may have enough there, son. I have four gold. Let's take some stuff. You find your sister's diary. Harvest, day 15. Mother is away again. She never tells us where. I think father is a little sad when she goes. Harvest, day 18. I had, a, I had that nightmare again last night. There's a big room. And right in the middle of it, there's a big swooshing light that feels like it's going to suck me in. I still couldn't see what what was in the middle of it. I don't think I ever want to. Harvest Day 19. I had another dream. I was opening birthday presents and I was ho so happy. Then something happened. And it was so horrible it woke me up. I think that part was only a dream though. Harvest Day 21. It's my birthday today. I bet my brother forgets again. But at least Mother will be back. I got up early to look out over the sea. And now I'm going to play in the top field. Why do I get good points? These books belong to your parents. They don't look interesting. Just a container. This just contains your father's clothes. And this cupboard is full of old blankets. Right. Let's go get the chocolates and give them to the system. Which is Teresa from the second and third game. And you get to see how she goes blind and stuff. Get your miscellaneous. Awesome. Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three. Okay, here you go. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Who can resist such sweetmeats? Why do I keep getting good points? Right, I will be super evil and I will kill all the people. Most of the people. And I will. And he will be morbidly obese. And he will be called Arseface. It is written. Hello, little brother. Hello, I Teresa. hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened. But I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Searching through containers is a good way to find handy items. Be careful if you're planning on stealing from a house. I'll be stealing from all the houses when he's growing up. Wait! There's something wrong. Bandits! It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Yep, 
Yep, great hiding spot. They'll never see you in the fence. Go on. Go on! I've played this game, finished this game, completed it at least 20 times. <laughs> it's so good. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. Many people died. It definitely looks a lot clearer on the PC than it does on Xbox. It might just be on screen. Because I have a really good screen. Oh no, who sat down there? <gasps> it's May. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Okay, random stranger who just killed someone in front of me. Achievement unlocked from the smallest acorn. Casually loading. Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. <laughs> 